Welcome back everybody, Redthorn here, bringing you the Battle of the O's for Fortress Siege number 61 here in Lineage 2 Revolution. Let's go! So there were only two real fights this week, not a shocker, last week a whole bunch, this week nothing. The Battle of the O's is the one that won the poll in my Discord, and that would be Oblivion versus Olympus. Here we have Oblivion at 380.5 million combat power in totality for the clan. Olympus at 363 million, 363.5. That is a big difference between the two. That's almost 20. That's what, 17 million? It happens. Let's see what was paid. This is for an A grade Fortress Olympus. One million, one Adena for the right to challenge Oblivion. Let's check out who they designated as leaders. Curious, the current leader of Oblivion. Usually it's Kizzy. Apparently Curious is a different type of uh, a class. What is he? Sure. For Olympus, Will Garden. Will Garden is looks like a Phoenix Knight. 9.4 million Phoenix Knights, so that's going to be difficult for Oblivion to take out. Here's the other real fight, Athena versus Omega Squad. Uh, good luck to both those clans. Let's head into the battlefield. Oblivion in the blue on the top. The Defenders with 17 million combat power uh, advantage. Of course, that doesn't always mean everything as we always know. Good luck to Oblivion. Olympus in the red on the bottom. The Defenders. I almost said the defenders, they are the attackers. Good luck to Olympus. And their 17 million handicap here. I will be back at the 10 second mark. Soon. 10 seconds before we begin. Five seconds before we begin. And here we go. Force of Seeds, number 61, Oblivion. Defending against Olympus. It'll be interesting, you know, Olympus is very much going to try to get in there and allow their 9.4 million combat power Phoenix Knight to try to get some Holy Artifact imprint time and wow, there goes the non-spawn gate of Olympus already and already Oblivion imprinting the Holy Artifact. And they've already gotten down to 15 seconds. 10 seconds. They got it down to 10 seconds. There goes the whole Holy Artifact Defense Tower number one. A lot of blue down here. No leader. But they don't care. They're going to take out this other one. They're going to try to at least. What? Oblivion! Oh, nobody has gotten uh, a 10% buff yet. The blue team has started imprinting the holy artifact. Oblivion is not playing around. The holy artifact. The blue team has started imprinting the holy artifact. Oh, got down to seven that time. There goes the other holy, holy artifact. Defense Tower of Olympus. The non-spawn gate of Oblivion is down. Boy, this is back and forth. Oblivion, 10% buff, next three minutes. To the holy artifact. The altar of Earth has been imprinted. Wow, what that was crazy. Oblivion is definitely ahead by a lot right now in Holy Artifact imprint time. But now that Olympus has gotten a gate down, their very high combat powered Phoenix Knight might be able to get something. Uh oh. Red Team failed. Oblivion. 30% buff. 2 minutes. 12 seconds. Red 
team has started imprinting the holy artifact. Curry is trying to win this. Unable to do so. The blue team has started imprinting the holy artifact. Curry is trying again. That was a lot going on. Ten seconds remaining. Oblivion's five seconds remaining. Interrupted at four seconds. Curry is trying again. And interrupted. Curry is trying again. Doesn't have much in the way of defenders back there and he died. Olympus forced to backpedal a little bit there. Well, Garden just watched him or her die. And it looked like it took quite a few individuals to do that, too. Not a shocker for a tank-like character with almost 9.5 million combat power. Here he is. Unable to get anything going. He keeps trying and getting interrupted. I didn't see how much combat power Curry has had. We'll take a look at that after this ends, if I remember. You're know, five minutes into this battle, Oblivion has got to be ahead by, what, 60, 70 seconds at this point? The altar of Earth has been imprinted. And Oblivion with a 30% buff for the next 25 seconds. Curry is trying again. The blue team has and failed. The holy Both clan leaders died uh, at almost the same time. That was awesome. Oblivion's 30% buff is over with, and they are trying to go for it again. I don't see anybody there. That's just more the same. The blue team has started imprinting the holy artifact. Got down to eight seconds. I think they really need to allow us to run a little bit faster as a spectator. But of course, we're supposed to be using these waypoints but I determined that that's where the crashing comes from. 30% buff for Oblivion for the next 1 minute 26 seconds. Mm, nothing going on here. It's all up here. There's Curious trying to get in. The blue team has started imprinting the holy artifact. Uh oh. Five seconds for Oblivion wins this battle. Oh. 
Oh, there's a lot of blue here, but they're not. They should be around this area, preventing anybody from coming up there. With maybe a couple back here to prevent anybody from coming from behind. Olympus not able to get anything going other than that initial one that they had. That's that 17 million difference in effect. There goes 30% buff for Oblivion with a minute 25 seconds remaining in their 10%, but they are already trying to go for their 30% buff, and we're interrupted. That's a long way up there. I don't want to miss all the action. Olympus, not a whole heck of a lot going on there. Oblivion with 20 seconds remaining in their 10% buff. Trying to and getting that alter imprint. Now they get the fight for the 30% buff again. The altar of wind has been and they are right there trying to get it. They have two seconds, one second. The oh! The team has started imprinting the holy artifact. The red team has failed to imprint the holy artifact. Right, hair off from that 30% buff. Olympus is forced to have many of their people here in their base to try to stop Curious from ending this battle, which prevents them. from going up there and getting some serious time. Okay, now they're here. Now here's the blue here. Put a couple back here. There's nobody back here. But it doesn't matter. Three seconds, two seconds, one second, and congratulations to Oblivion for successfully defending their A-grade fortress. Against Olympus, congratulations to Gomenesai for taking number one at all overall. Here are your stats. Uh, despite having a nine point what almost nine point five million Phoenix Knight, Olympus was just not able to get enough people up there to provide any kind of support towards that individual. And I will go and check out what Curious's CP is assuming they haven't left already. There are your stats. He was 8.1 million. Dark Elf, he was a Shillian Templar. That wasn't too shabby of a fight. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. And as always, socially distant, acceptable distance on Discord or Twitter. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you again.